Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Yakusoku no Neverland, or you could call it The Promised Neverland on episode 11. Now, this episode right here looked okay. I mean, nothing much I can really give out, like, um, in great shocking detail, but if you guys watched the episode or read the manga, you'll know what happened. So, if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Ray talks to Emma for a bit, and Emma explains that everything's gone to plan and everyone should be able to escape. As for Ray, he ends up explaining about having to set the ha having to set the house on fire. Not to mention, like he planned he planned to actually kill himself or commit suicide just to ruin um the demon's breakfast or meal that they want to have, you know. And apparently, um, this kind of got out of hand here and there, of course. And of course, Emma does stop Ray's um suicide at his as it is shown in the episode to a point where. Some kids actually know the plan because, like, um, apparently Emma managed to whisper this to act to many people and tells Norman that I think it's time we tell other people too about this. You know, though, like, um, it is it is uneasy to actually take this all in right now because I'm not doing this in the right order. But Emma stopped Ray from committing suicide and says, you know, I have another plan. You know, thanks to Norman and everyone else, we're gonna make this work. And of course, they've been recruiting the little ones and the others for a while now after telling them what happened. Especially when some of them actually eavesdropped on the kids on Norman and Emma's conversation with Sister Crona, you know? And things kind of gotten really crazy and out of hand for the time being. And of course, um, throughout those two months, they, Emma made it look like she's depressed but she hasn't given up yet. She actually went through the act like that, which we all kind of predicted that she, there's no way she'd be in... Death morning or something, <laughs> but aside from that, um, thanks to Emma and Norman's plan of execution, they set the house on fire, and we have to it that Isabella or the mother is really shocked to see to it that there's a fire and Ray's in the fire, but apparently that's not really is the case, and we see to it of course the fire extingu fire extinguisher did not work for her since it ran out. And of course she tries to go to the headquarters, but apparently there's some clay stuck in the keyhole. So that's even worse. <laughs> and we see to it that everyone is managing to escape. Although when it comes to the babies and the others, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where Gilda is right now. But one thing for sure is like um, the house is on fire. And we see to it that Isabella is already starting to like um, freak out right now. Especially what, what's happening. But apparently after knowing that... Um, she even found out that Emma actually cut off her own ear, especially Norman. Which is very, very painful. And I gotta say, I give them props to actually cut off their own ear that had the tracking devices on it, you know? And we see to it, of course, um, that that everyone's planning to escape, etc. While, like, Isabella, who has the cut-up ear that Emma left behind that had the tracking device, etc. Um... <laughs> went into a mad laughter saying that she's not going to allow anyone to escape and she ends up being um, contacted by Phil. She goes like, Mama, etc. And the episode ends off there. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> One thing was sure, Ray tries to commit suicide but Emma did not let him and they all went through a plan that's supposed to be um, all planned that... that it's been executed and well planned out or went through a escape escape situation that's planned out throughout the two months, etc. Thanks to like um Emma and the others helping out. Yeah. I gotta say, that is one crazy episode. Although like um it was a little shocking because the ears got um cut off. <laughs> but it's still like um Amazing to see that because honestly, I would have hesitated a bit if I even had to cut off my own ear, honestly. Oh dear lord. <laughs> but aside from that, I don't know what to expect for everyone else because if they still have their tracking devices on them, I mean like, um, I'm pretty sure the mother or Isabel will be able to find them. But I don't know, I'm not so sure about that, but aside from that, um, don't know what's really bound to happen next, but it's gonna get little tense for the final episode next week. Will they escape or will they all die? <laughs> Guess we're about to find out. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.